this football while most of the college football world is preoccupied with what's going on in the transfer portal. Kirby Smart, the Georgia Bulldogs, continue to do what has made this program so special over the last couple of years, and that is clean up on the high school recruiting trail, landing four-star quarterback Ryan Montgomery from the state of Ohio. Now, when you talk about Ryan Montgomery, you can talk about the elite physical traits that he brings to Athens, Georgia at that quarterback position. We're going to get into that, get into the film. Before we get into the film, I want to talk about why Ryan Montgomery is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the 2025 class, and that is really what's between the ears for this kid in the era of college football where the transfer portal is so popular, it seems like there are just not a lot of players that want to come in and compete for a starting job. Ryan Montgomery, knowing damn well that the number one quarterback in the country is committed in the 2026 class to Georgia and Jerry Curtis, commits to Georgia and says, I want to come in and I want to compete for a starting spot at this program. Very similar to Ryan Puglisi in the 2024 class with Dylan Raiola, Kirby Smart in this Georgia program no doubt put a lot of stock in terms of finding guys, especially at the quarterback position, that have that kind of mentality. And when you talk about what has made this Georgia program so special the last couple of years, that mentality has probably been at the top of the list. That's what fires me up the most about Ryan Montgomery. We want to get into what he brings to the table on the football field as well. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the Georgia Bulldog fans. Y'all continue to show a ton of love, a ton of support to the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Ryan Montgomery. And another thing that I really do like about Ryan Montgomery is the progressions he's made through his high school career. You take a look back at the sophomore year numbers, a 60% completion percentage for only 1,700 yards, 22 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. You fast forward 12 months during his junior year, a 68% completion percentage for over 3,300 yards, 38 touchdowns to five interceptions. We talk a lot about this on the high school recruiting trail in terms of finding guys coming out of high school where their stock is going in the right direction, where they're continuing to get better as players. Ryan Montgomery is certainly one of those kind of guys. And then you get into <clears throat> what he is as a quarterback. One, plays in a spread offense at the high school level. You're going to see him on the film be asked to make a lot of different throws to the boundary, attacking the deeper third, up the seam and work in the middle of the field. He kind of checks all those boxes. I mean, there's really not a throw that Ryan Montgomery cannot make, but I think what's also really exciting is the ability to blend his playmaking ability, but also playing kind of in structure. This is a guy that when you turn on high school film for a lot of quarterbacks, they're either really, really reliant on their athleticism and don't really play within structure or just lack that ability in general. Ryan Montgomery can play in structure, can get the football out on time where it needs to go and accurately, but he's also a guy that when there's nothing there, when he needs to create, he certainly can create, keep his eyes down the field. I think he blends that at a very high level, checks all the boxes from a physical trait standpoint. Now you get into the film, a couple of of things, man. I think this first play kind of shows you the ability to create and be an athlete, but also keep your eyes down the field and kind of have that moxie, kind of have that that ability to. Hey, I know I'm going to get popped right here. I'm going to attack the deeper third here, give my guys a little bit more time to get open and work that middle of the field, throw an absolute dot about 40 yards, taking contact. That is what you call a gamer. And a lot of times, like it's hard to quantify what a gamer is. Guys that you just know are winners at the quarterback position. That kind of play, I think, shows it. You continue to work through the film. A lot of different ways he can attack defenses, work in the middle of the field here. He can really fire it in if he needs to. But then you take a look at this next rep where, hey, we just saw him kind of throw a flamethrower on a line, a frozen rope, if you will. The next door, hey, we're going to have to layer this one in, put a little touch on it. Really, really comfortable making that kind of throw as well. Not a lot of throws. I probably should say not any throws that Ryan Montgomery can make. And this is probably the most impressive throw that you're going to see on the film. Working the boundary from the opposite hash where there's not a huge throwing window in this, right? You got some zone coverage underneath. You got a safety over top. Not a lot of spots where this football can go. There are not a lot of college football quarterbacks who are in their third or fourth year that can comfortably make this kind of throw 
Ryan Montgomery just has that easy arm power, right? From the opposite hash to the boundary, throwing it right where it needs to be to his receiver with some anticipation. That's an NFL caliber throw that Ryan Montgomery is making as a junior in high school. And I think that's really exciting for Georgia fans. He continued to work through the film and again, just kind of showing off the different throws he can make, whether it's the boundary, whether it's the deeper third, whether it's firing it in in the middle of the field too, throwing with some anticipation in the red zone, small throwing window, we're making it happen. I like the idea that one, Ryan Montgomery from a mental mental standpoint, like between the ears, you kind of feel good about this kid. But more importantly, he combines that with those elite traits that you want at the quarterback position. Not a big window, fitting it in, hitting his receiver in stride. I think his receiver goes down here. That's insane. All right, now what I want to kind of close in is as college football fans, and I kind of put myself under that category, we try to pull coals. I don't, I don't personally try to pull coals in this Georgia program. I'm actually – consider myself very complimentary of the program, but there are a lot of college football fans that poke holes in this Georgia program or try to at least. And one of those things is Georgia can't recruit the high, the from the high school level, can't recruit quarterbacks. They can't recruit offensive skill. You take a look at this Georgia program over the last couple of years, what this quarterback room is going to look like. Obviously Carson Beck and my, my words, I think I'd take him over any other quarterback in the country heading into 2024. Then you look at the youth, Gunnar Stockton, a guy that I think a lot of Georgia fans and people within that program feel really good about. Ryan Puglisi in the 2024 class. You had Ryan Montgomery in the 2025 class and then Jerry Curtis in the 2026 class. One of the biggest talking points about this Georgia program in terms of their shortcomings, which they ain't that many, have been what do they do recruiting quarterbacks? You look at what they've done the last couple of years, not sure we can knock Georgia with the recruiting the quarterbacks anymore because they're getting it done. I am really fired up about this program. You guys already know that. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. Really, really do like Ryan Montgomery. I think the Georgia Bulldogs got a good one with him. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.